Hey everybody, it's Ricky, and before I run this video, I wanted to let you know that um, after I was done editing it, I took a good look at it and I went, now wait a minute, uh, there's kids in this video, but yet it's not really appropriate for kids, but my kids are in it, so that's a little bit confusing. But let me explain for a second. Urban legends uh, come in three flavors, uh, mostly true, somewhat true, and not very true. Uh, the story that I tell in this video is probably not very true, although there was some true crime connected to that area, but not at the same time, and it was a slightly different situation. What did happen was a guy that did kill his two children and then kill himself, but that was at a different point in time, and it wasn't exactly in that area, and it probably wasn't really connected. Somehow, there is another urban legend that circulated. I want you to also know that my kids know this story and it, they, I didn't just hit them over the head with it and try to scare them. They knew they were acting. I told the story three times in a row for the sake of the camera. And so they're not scared, um, truly. Uh, but that doesn't mean your kids should watch it necessarily. I want you to decide for yourself if they can handle horror films and stuff like that, they can probably handle this urban legend. It's not that bad, quite honestly, but it could be disturbing to some people, and I just wanted to let you know that. The last thing I ever want to do is put my children or anybody's children in danger or give them bad nightmares or anything like that. And so I just wanted to do a disclaimer. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about that. Um, I'm very sensitive to what you guys think and feel and what you choose for me to cover on my channel. Um, so without further ado, let's run the seventh barn. You know, there's nothing like telling stories around the campfire. Did you ever hear the story of the seventh barn? No. So in Ohio, Cuyahoga Falls, which I've been to several times, very nice place. There's a series of farms, lots of farms there. There was a World War I veteran that came home. He couldn't wait to get home to his wife so that they could welcome their new baby. And they had one baby, and when they had that little boy, he went out and he built a barn and he named that barn after the little boy. He did this every time they had a baby. Every time they had a baby, he'd build a barn and name the barn after the baby. They had six babies. They decided they were gonna stop at number seven. Well, we don't know what happened, but for some reason on that night, his wife had a really bad headache and she started to deliver Jacob. But when she delivered Jacob, he was dead. Soon after, she died, trying to give birth to this poor baby. But the guy still, the next day, the next day he went out and he built the barn anyway for Jacob. But he went completely crazy, picked up a gun, and went and shot all the kids, and then went in the seventh barn that was supposed to be Jacob's and hung himself. To this day, that seventh barn is haunted. Now, people say that if you go there, you don't see seven barns. The only reason for that is because, well, it's because it used to be one big property. Now there's seven properties with seven barns, and the seventh barn is the one that's haunted. That is the story of the seventh barn. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video. And turn on your notifications so you're notified when I upload. Turn on your notifications so that you can. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss another video.